This will be a brief introduction to the computer software program SPSS and my name is Brandi Weiss. When you open the program SPSS you come to a screen that looks like this. And this is pretty similar to a Microsoft Excel file. Here each row is going to represent an individual case and for the majority of the analyses you will be running in an introduction to statistics course each case is going to be representative of an individual person so this means that each row contains data for one person each column is going to contain information for each variable so here at the top by default you see the letters VAR in gray colored text which represents variable we look across the top here we see the different menu options the file on the edit menu should be familiar to you they're similar to any other software program that you've used before the data menu should be kind of interesting to you and could be useful if you want to split the file or select some cases but not all of them or you want to weight the cases then these options would be useful and they're all located at the bottom. Anything in the data menu has to do with manipulating the data set. The transform menu would be transforming the current data into some other way. You may use options like compute a new variable from one or more existing variables or you could take an existing variable and recode it into either itself or into a new variable. Under the Analyze menu, this is where you have all the analyses that you would be running, such as descriptive statistics, correlation, regression, the compare means for any kind of t-tests that you would be running, non-parametric tests for chi-square analysis, and later on you'd probably use general linear model. Under the graphs menu, we can create graphs such as a bar graph, pie graph, or a histogram. And then when you start learning about correlations, you'll probably want to learn how to create scatter plots. The utilities menu, the add-ons menu, and the window menu, we're probably not going to be using those. The help menu could be a little useful if you want to search for a particular term or look in the index to see if you can get a little bit more information on a particular subject. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is actually get data into SPSS. And there are three different methods that I'll show you on how we can go about doing this. The first method is just going to be to enter data as it is. The second method would be to import an Excel data file or some kind of text file where you already have existing data in some other file format. We just want to get it into SPSS. And the third option would be if you already have an SPSS data file, we just want to open it up into the program. Okay, so first to just enter data. And notice here, before we have any data entered, at the top of each variable, everything is written, the variable titles are written in a gray colored text, and along the left all the row numbers are written in gray text also. We'll just enter some data, just start typing, and you can see that the row number one and the variable name, they've changed to black colored text. And we've also, SPSS knows you've entered data in this first cell, so for the first variable, it has changed the name to the default name of VAR00001. Let's go ahead and enter text in the, or some data into the next couple of cells. And you can see again, it's, it starts to give them default variable names. So this would be the first way to get data into SPSS, and it's a good process if you have a very small data set. The second way would be to open an existing file, and I'll show you how to open an Excel data file. You're going to go to File and Read Text Data. And by default, it has the TXT file or text file. That's okay if you have a text file. We're going to use an Excel file and open that up. So select the option under Files of Type, select the option Excel, 
And once you do that, then here all your Excel files that are in the current folder that you're looking in should appear. I'm going to open a file called companydata.xls. I click on the file name and it appears down here at the bottom under the file name. And if it's in a different folder than the folder that originally appears, you would go about finding this the same way that you would in any other program, where at the top under the look in menu, you'd click that down arrow and start clicking to find the folder you're interested in. So once we have the file selected, we can click on this open button that's in the bottom right hand corner. You'll now get a pop-up screen that looks similar to this. And this is actually okay because all by default all the options I'm interested in are already selected. But let's say that it that in this Excel file I wanted a particular range of cells, not all of them, but just a certain range. I could type that range in this area. If there were multiple worksheets and I wanted to select a different worksheet, I would do that by going in this cell and clicking the down arrow. Also notice at the top I'm going to I have the box checked next to read variable names from the first row of data. My variable names are in my Excel file, so I'm going to leave that that option checked. I'm not going to change anything else cuz I like it the way it is. And I'll click on this okay button in the bottom left-hand corner. And here's my data. The third option would be to open an already existing SPSS data file. You would just do this by going to File and then Open. Here are your menu options for the different types of files you could open. We're going to open a data file, so select Data. And here I'm going to open a file called tomato.sav. This is a file that comes with the computer software program SPSS, so if you have it installed on your computer, you have this tomato.sav file, so you could kind of follow along with this. With version 16.0, it is located in the C drive under Program Files in the SPSS Inc. folder, then SPSS 16, and then Samples. So wherever that is, if you have an earlier version, it just may be in the C Program Files SPSS folder. Locate that file and click on it and it shows up under the file name down here at the bottom and then we'll just click on this open button on the bottom right. And here's my SPSS data file that already existed, the tomato.sav file.